Hey folks, let's understand what is HTTP today. Before getting started, how many of you have ever wondered what happens when you type www.google.com in your browser? Or which protocol powers the entire internet? What does this 500 internal status code ever mean? And I'm very sure that you would have made a lot of online payments, right? And you would have seen a screen that says, don't press the back button. Why is it that way? To answer some of these questions, it is essential for you to understand what is HTTP protocol. Let's start with something very, very simple. Let's say that you go to your browser and then type www.creo.2. Now, what exactly happens is that your browser is going to issue a GET request to the cryo server and as you can see the cryo server is hosted in a specific remote address which is 205.251.253.111 and it is actually accessing the port 443 which is associated with the HTTPS protocol and once your client that is your laptop makes the request to the remote server the remote server which is hosted on cloud receives your HTTP request it responds back to the request with a HTML file. Over here, you can actually see that the content type that is returned back is text HTML. And then it also gives more information about the server itself. In this case, it is actually getting the response back from an Amazon S3 server and the status code is 200. Now, once your client, which is the laptop, receives this HTTP response, it's going to render it beautifully on your browser so this is the whole journey of the http protocol right from your laptop to the server and then the response back to the laptop what we just saw was the high level overview of the http protocol and in order to understand much more deeper about http we can start off with the http byte in a http byte you'll be going through a series of activities that will help you understand various aspects of the HTTP protocol. To start off with, you will actually construct a very simple HTTP request on top of the TCP protocol yourself. And then you will visit flipkart.com site, use Chrome developer tools to dissect various parts of the HTTP request response. Once you understand the request response, you would move on to understanding what are the various HTTP verbs available and also get a much better grasp of what is get, what is post, what is put and the differences between these HTTP verbs. I'm sure that you would have noticed these magical numbers somewhere, right? Uh, 200, 404, 500, all these are called HTTP status codes and you would be able to understand what these status codes exactly mean by doing some of the activities. Finally, you will learn curl, which is a command line way of accessing any server. Over here, you can issue various HTTP requests and also see the response right in the terminal. If you get fancy, you can also write a quick bot to download the flipkart.com content using a get request and then use some of the terminal passing utilities to actually find out all the deals available on their site. Hope that sounds exciting. Why don't you get started with the HTTP byte right away?